Well, I'm happy that you have been able to come and visit our venue here at St. Joseph. It is a long journey, I know, for us. It's been 48 years. But at the same time, we've found a lot of satisfaction out of it. As you can look around you, you'd see a lot of young players uh, who have been here since they're 12 years old. And now they're 17 and 18. And you look behind us and you see some of those who are six and seven years old. Our policy is to develop the game totally. Our policy is to go into the communities, train coaches to coach those kids coming from the communities, send those coaches into various places where they can practice their coaching and at the same time bring these kids up to the standard that we would like to. Our main objective, there are two of them. One is to produce good footballers, produce good people as students and everything else, well-behaved, good discipline. And at the same time, if they are up in the class that they should be and some of them really are, we try to get them into the national team simply because of the fact that they're worth their places. Nobody is going to leave here unless we are sure that they can make it better. The same thing for the universities in the States. We're not going to send them if they're not good enough. And we're trying our very best to ensure that the education side is good and strong so that we'll be able to build a young people for Trinidad and Tobago. This is our effort. We are prepared to go with it. We, we've got Anton with me and a couple of other coaches, former players of Alcons and we are very happy to do this job. Garnet Craig was in, in this team as a central defender. We had people like uh, Veron Skinner, Richard Chenapu, uh, Reynold George, uh, Mervyn Joseph. We had a lot of uh, midfield players, David Nackett, Dexter Skeen, Michael Greeson, uh, Kendall, Kendall Walks. We had uh, players in the forward line like Garth Polony, Brian Haynes. We had, um, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm talking off the, the top of my cuff now. We even in the, um, the players that were in the 1989, we had seven players in there who were playing in that team. And that included David Nackett, Anton Dexter Skeen in, in that three there. So we've had a lot of players, a lot of them are out in the States now and, uh, and playing in the university. Uh, you know David is out in, in, in the other part of the world, in Europe. And we have had De De um, Russell Atopy was also here. Shaka His Shak Hislop also got his scholarship out of here, and he played here as well. So it's a lot of them. It's 538. I'm I'm too old to remember all of them, but and I'm I'm telling you that this group, within the next two years, you'd hear a lot about them. At least four or five of them. Our standards are very simple. You don't have to be rich. None of these kids pay anything. Our standards are that you behave in the way that you should. You do the lessons when you have to do it in school. You obey your parents. You obey the people that you see on the road. You carry yourself with a certain decor de de in you that will tell people that you are a well-behaved person, you're a well-organized person. We have these guys planning their lives every single day. We suggest to them in terms of if they're not good at in the academic side, we try to get them on the trade side. We've had two or three guys going out there to learn trade out in the United States and they never came back because they got big jobs. And this is what it is. And we're going to continue to do it. We know it's not easy. These smaller kids can look to this group. We bring them in and like this little kid here, he's now 13. We last, last day we brought in about four 12 year olds just to get the experience of this. As I was telling, as I was telling Steve, this player is 17 years old and we believe that he will be in the professional ranks if we don't send him to school because he's that good. The other player is in the under 20, uh, Joshua Sidney. He was in the under 20 team that went away in the last tournament. So we are getting them all, we are not a professional unit and we are trying our very best to present them to the country. We're going to go into the country districts, play against the same clubs all over the place to see what level they are as compared to what level the others are. Well, I certainly would like them to be very talented. I would like them to be more talented than I, I was. I would like them to dedicate themselves to it. I would like them to play as a team. Every one of our exercises, as you can see, is built along the collective process. There's no one man dribbling the ball. You'd see passing, moving, moving, moving here, there, and everywhere. That's the, that's the reason why we want to be able to have them playing alongside each other and working with each other all the time. That's the purpose of the exercise. Their skill is natural. If they're going to develop it, we're going to show them how to use their skill in the context of the game and not in the context of their own ideas. And we look at them, we try to, to change in our character a little bit about defense. We are not good thinkers in defense. We always believe we shouldn't be defenders. We should be waiting to get the ball. So we're trying to change that concept. We have built some really good defenses. And Sil Elcock was, was here with us and he was a tremendous defender for Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, we had uh, quite a number of good players. Um, Veren Skinner, another one, 
uh, Renald George, who played in the national team, and I think he played about 60 games. Um, all of these guys were defenders. And the, good, the thing about why I'm proud about them is because I was not a defender. And it only goes to show you that a coach does not only coach the things that he can do, but he must learn to coach the things that other people must be able to do. And I think that I've learned a lot over the years by training coaches courses all over the world. I've been able to get that right, to be able to work and on almost every individual position so that they, the game could be, they could be benefit to the game. I would like the, the, the society to know that the balance of my life is going to be devoted to this. I am not looking for any payment from anybody. I'm looking to see the game improve. Sometimes it hurts me when I see it on the national team, on the international arena, and they're not doing very well with bad attitudes and all that sort of thing. I prefer to see the game at the way I, when I was in the team and when I coached the team. There were, there were hardly any problems in national teams in those days. Today, there's a, there are a multitude of national players with problems of all types, and uh, the, the, their progress is retarded because of what's happening around them. I would like to devote the good side of my life to these kids, and I hope that they will take it. We, our percentages are very high in good behavior, and we want to keep it that way. Seguro y no te cambio, porque tú me completa no te cambio, tu amor es suficiente y no te cambio, no te cambio, no te cambio, contigo estoy seguro y no te cambio, porque tú me completa no te cambio.